Hello everyone, this is Mayank Sang V from vlamon.com and I'm back with another Tableau tutorial video and in this video we will learn about joins in Tableau. For this video we are going to refer to this blog post. The blog post URL is available in the description of this video or you can click on this notification icon. In our previous video we learned how to create a data source connection using a text file. In our text file, we have ID, first name, last name created by gender and date of birth. We separate this data in multiple worksheet in our Excel file. We are going to use an Excel file for this video. The sample Excel file is available on my blog post. You need to visit the blog post and then you need to click on download. For personal, group or online training, contact us. In this Excel file, we have multiple worksheet. The first worksheet is first name. In this, we have five column. First one is the ID, second one is the first name, gender, date of birth, and creator ID. Next, in last name worksheet, we have two columns. The first one is the ID, and the second one is the last name. In our creator worksheet, we have two columns. The first one is the creator ID, and the second one is the creator. Finally, in the last worksheet, voiced by. In this worksheet, we have two columns. The first one is the ID for the cartoon character, and voiced by is the person who gave the voice for a specific cartoon character. To use this Excel file, first we need to create a data source connection. For this, we need to open Tableau. So let me quickly open Tableau. And I want to start with a new workbook. So I'm going to click on Control N and let me minimize this one. So this is workbook 2. I want to create a new data source connection. For this, I'm going to click on W icon to switch back to data source page. And here I'm going to select Microsoft Excel from the connection pane. It is available under two of file section. So I'm going to click on this Microsoft Excel. It is going to open a open file dialog box. And I'm not sure why it is too slow. So let me close this third one and let me close W trial. Let me click on cancel and okay in open file dialog box first we need to navigate where our file is available my file is available on desktop so i don't need to perform a navigation then we need to select our file so cartoon character join dot xlsx i want to use this excel file so i'm going to click on this and then finally i'm going to click on open and let me also open my excel file this is this is our excel file and based on the available sheets and data, Tableau created four sheets here. Okay, the first one is the creator, first name, last name, and voice by. And now on the right, we don't have any tables. To add a table or to add a sheet, you need to select your table or sheet, drag and drop it just here. If you by mistake added a wrong sheet or wrong table, you can click on this triangle icon and then you can click on remove. And of course, we have option to perform a control Z and control Y to redo. Another way to add a table or sheet, you can double click on your table or sheet name. So I want to add first name. So I'm going to double click on first name. Our first table is added successfully. Now what we want, we want to fetch our cartoon character name complete card character name first name is available in the first name table or sheet and last name is available in our last name sheet so how to get the last name for this we are going to add last name by default tableau is smart enough to create a proper join between first name and last name sheet how in our both first name and last name sheet we have a common column it is id id is available in first name and same id column is also available in the last name now what if you don't have the id column in last name then definitely you are not able to create a join condition what if in your last name the id column name is something different so let me add creators so in this creator sheet we have the same scenario so let me add creator now Tableau is asking for the right join condition for the creators. In our first name for creator ID, the column name is CID. The same column is also available in the creator sheet, but with name creator ID. So to create a correct join between first name and creator sheet, you need to select CID from the first name and creator ID from the creator sheet. 
okay when you are going to provide the correct join condition your warning is gone and table you are fetching the records from all the tables now i don't want to use creator so let me remove this i only want to use first name and last name creator is only for demonstrating scenario where we don't have the same column name now what is next i want to find the complete name we got the complete name let's hide the other columns so i want to hide date of birth cid gender i hide all the non necessary column now you may say why you did not hide the id from the last name because i want to demonstrate the different join condition now you may ask what is a join a join is a mechanism to create a proper relationship between multiple tables to get the correct data so why we required a join in this example our first name is available in first name sheet and last name is available on last name sheet if you are not going to define the correct join between first name and last name sheet then we are not able to retrieve the full name for our cartoon character so right now our join condition is correct so that's why we are able to find the full name for our cartoon character so mickey mouse okay so without a proper join connection we are not able to identify the full name for our cartoon character so that's why join is required to retrieve the data from multiple worksheet or multiple database tables next is types of join to discuss about types of join let me open my blog post so i'm going to open my blog post okay so let me scroll down and this is types of join if you learn about database then definitely you somewhere watch such type of circles okay these are not olympic circles in this image you are able to see the different join type to explain different types of join let's assume we have these two rings the green one and the blue one now i want to find all the records which are available in both the rings left one and right one such type of join is known as inner join all the matching records in both the tables okay and this is the graphical representation for inner join so let me quickly open my table view and by default table view created an inner join between first name and last name and this is the icon for inner join if you are going to hover on this icon you are able to see the join details inner join of first name and last name id equals to id ignore id equals to id last name it is just a way to demonstrate the left id is from the first name and the second id is from the last name the next join condition is the left join it means bring all the data from the left table and only the matching data from the right table how to create a left join in table for this i am going to open my table to change the join condition i am going to click on this icon then we have options to change the type of join and we also have option to change the join condition so right now i don't want to change the join condition i only want to change the join type I want to create a left outer join between first name and last name. So that's why I'm going to select this left. If I'm going to select this, my icon is changed and based on the new join condition, table is going to fetch the new set of records. Now you may ask why the number of records is changed. Okay, so let me again switch back to inner join. For inner joins, we have only 14 records and for left join, we have 15 records. again this is to demonstrate the definition for left outer join i added an extra record in our first name which is only available in the first name okay so again the definition for left outer join bring all the records from the leftmost table and bring only the matching record from the right table similarly you can create a right join again for right join we have 15 records again to explain the right join scenario i added an extra record in our last name which is not available in our first name so you need to identify the full name for the cartoon characters which are missing from the first name and the last name so let me again demonstrate 
let me again click on left so the left scrooge is missing from the last name you need to identify full name for the cartoon character and this is for right and it's do a little hint it's not scooby doo finally we have full auto join it means bring the all records from both the table okay now we have 16 record one extra record from the left table and one extra record from the one extra record from the last name and one extra record from the first name so this is about type of join so let me close this and let me quickly open my blog post to check what is remaining for this video and then join condition so let me quickly open tableau and let me click on this so by default tableau created a join condition with an equal operator you can change the operator for join condition you have following option the first one is the equal to then not equal to less than less than equal to greater than and greater than equal to i did not get any scenario where we need to use not equal to less than less than equal to greater than and greater than equal to because for us the data is already processed by an etl for all of my project we have an etl team which already provide us the clean data so we only need to create the join condition with equal to sign and then we need to create our reports so let me close this this is about the joining condition or the operators used in the join condition one more thing i want to share in this video is the cross join how to create a cross join now what is cross join to explain the cross join i'm going to open excel book and in this excel workbook we have two tables so in our first table we have two records one and two and in our second table we have again two records one and two in case of cross join each record from the first table is going to join with each record in the second table so if we want to perform a cross join between these two table then the output is a1 a2 b1 and b2 so this is a cross join or you can say cartesian product to create a cross join let me open tableau to create a cross join in tableau you need to create a condition which is always true so let me select this let me click on the join icon and to create a condition which is always true for this i'm going to select the first column and i'm going to click on create join calculation in this i'm going to remove the id column i'm going to type a okay similarly i'm going to click on this I'm going to click on create join calculation and here I'm going to provide one. Okay, so one equals to one. It is always true. And this is the cross join. We have around 225 records based on the cross join. So let me. So first one is the Scrooge Bunny. Definitely this is wrong. This cartoon character is from DuckTales. Second is Scooby Bunny. Again, this is wrong. This is Scooby Doo Doo. Okay, so this is a cross join, and this is how you can create a cross join. Now, it is not mandatory to use one equals to one. You can use any other condition. You need to provide a condition which is always true. So let me use one not equals to. Nine 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 or whatever. Okay, again this condition is always true. So to create a cross join, you need to provide a condition which is always true. Oh, I want to click on edit join calculation and then I am able to add 999. So this is how you can create a data source connection using an Excel file. This is how you can modify the join condition. This is how you can change the operator for join condition. So we are done with the content for this video. In our next video, we will learn how to create a calculated columns. We are going to learn about different types of processing which we are going to perform on our data source page. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to click on like, subscribe, share it with everyone, provide your feedback and see you all in next W tutorial video. Some important URLs.